Hello and welcome to Majid's Kitchen. Today we're diving into a recipe that celebrates the vibrant flavors of Asia. A crispy whole fish that's as stunning to look at as it is delicious to eat. This dish is a perfect balance of texture and taste, featuring a beautifully fried fish, a Mediterranean sea bass, crisp on the outside and tender on the inside paired with a Thai-inspired sauce that will take your taste buds on a journey. Whether you're looking to impress at your next dinner or just having a craving for something truly special, this recipe is sure to become a favorite. So let's get cooking. I'm going to show you just how you can make this special dish at home. Crispy garlic and crispy fried shallots can easily be found at your Asian supermarket or if you have the time you can make it at home by just chopping up some garlic and frying it until lightly golden. Same with the shallots. Let's begin by using the water to soak these dried shrimps and that will help get rid of any impurities like very fine sand that may be contained within the product. It will also help to get rid of excess salt. All right, now it's time to kick things off. As we all know, you need a good sharp knife when working in the kitchen, but especially sharp when working with fish and cutting through the skin of fish. I will make fairly deep cuts that almost touch the center bone of the fish. Spin the fish around and make diagonal cuts the opposite way to make diamond patterns on the fish. When learning sushi and working with fish, the turning of the fish while filleting is also known as uwami shitami. Kind of like this way, that way. Repeat the process on the other side. And you can see that diamond pattern on the fish. This is going to help with the frying and getting that crispy texture. So to have a tastier fish, you can do a basic marinade of soy sauce and lime juice. Two parts soy, one part lime. And uh, brush the fish, um, getting into those incisions you just made. Put enough to moisten the fish. Next, season flour, salt, pepper, and all-purpose flour. Give that a mix, and we're going to coat this fish while it's marinating with the flour. Get that flour into the crevices and set it aside. You know there's a reason why fish don't play basketball. You know what it is? because they're afraid of the net. <laughs> and just for your information, a fish that practices medicine is called a sturgeon. <laughs> okay, just repeat the process on the other side. Let's work on the sauce. Begin by removing the shrimp from the water and try to remove the excess water from it. Discard 
the water. I double a piece of paper towel and again try to remove that extra moisture in the dry trim. In the meantime, heat up the saucepan on medium heat and add a little oil to give the dry trims a sauté with the chopped garlic. Control the heat so you're not burning the shrimp. That will definitely ruin the sauce. And now add in the chopped cilantro stems. I'm using some of the liquid that we use for marinating as we are cooking the sauce, that's fine. And then we'll add the balance of the soy sauce to the dish and that's about two tablespoons worth. If you need more you can simply adjust the amount of soy sauce with the rest of the ingredients. I just added in the brown sugar and about two tablespoons of water and give that a mix. Lastly, we take one third of a lime or a lime cheek and squeeze the juice in, turn off the heat. Taste for balance and this is the result of the sauce. Set it aside so that the flavors can develop. The sugar will balance the saltiness of the sauce and also thicken it slightly. Because we used a marinade on the fish, the flour simply caked a little. So just carefully remove the thicker bits of flour, dust it off and add a light coating of fresh all-purpose flour or simply use the balance of the seasoned flour you had. Again, dusting off excess before frying. I'm using a wok for this dish just because I can have the depth and the width to accommodate this fish. And if the pan is slightly small, it's just about positioning the fish accordingly so that it gets cooked in the oil. I'm sure you've seen this chopstick method. When it bubbles around the chopstick, the oil is ready to fry. Usually the oil temperature should be between 350 and 360. This temperature here is around 350 Fahrenheit. Carefully place the fish into the hot oil and place it away from you if you can. The time for frying per side should be four to six minutes for a fish of this size. Approximately 400 to 600 grams. Time to turn the fish over. I'm using a fish lifter and a wooden spoon for better control. So there will be no risk of the fish falling and splashing oil over. This is one sure way of getting burnt or starting a fire. I spoon over the hot oil near the tail and near the head of the fish. This is where there is less meat or flesh and will cook easily and is not the part that's centered in the middle of the oil. This Mediterranean sea bass is also known as European sea bass. Fairly inexpensive but elegant enough 
to make a delicious dinner for your guests. You can see just how crispy this fish is. Lastly, let's complete the dry garnish. Very simply, combine all the ingredients together. Your crispy fried shallots and crispy fried garlic, cilantro. I briefly fried those red chilies. I love everything about this garnish because it's crispy, it's spicy, it has a freshness of that cilantro and the chilies that were slightly fried. It's just so wonderful. Give that a quick mix and we're about to assemble the final product. Spoon the sauce on top of the fish. Now sprinkle that crispy garnish over the top. And there you have it. Let's take a closer look. A beautiful crispy whole fish with an Asian twist. As we enjoy this delicious meal, let's remember the importance of sustainability. Opt for responsibly sourced seafood to help protect our oceans and ensure future generations can enjoy these amazing flavors too. If you found this recipe inspiring, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more great content. Share your own cooking tips and sustainability practices in the comments below. Thanks for joining me today and see you next time.